This is a preview of a one hour video over the mountain. We start by laying down a white undercoat for the sky and while the paint is still wet we pick up the thallow blue with the tip of our brush and with a crisscross brush stroke blend the blue into the white undercoat. We then mix our grey ready for the clouds and with our favourite brush loaded with a little bit of grey and lots of white we paint our clouds on with a round and round brush stroke. Big clouds at the top and little clouds at the bottom in the distance. Then we draw in our horizon line with cobalt blue and bring it forward and add a little bit of crimson as it comes towards you. By double loading our round hog bristle brush with pale and dark shades of cobalt blue we can dab 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 the trees all along the horizon line. As the trees come towards you you adjust your brush for bigger trees with a darker tone. Now for the trees closer to us in the foreground, we'll paint that umbrella shape and add a bit of raw sienna to our blues. With a fine soft brush we're brushing a few little branches. Now let's have a couple of little trees closer to us. This is with a round hog bristle brush double loaded, dab 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 your foliage in and don't forget to keep that umbrella shape. Brush your branches in holding the brush with two fingers. The rocks are sculptured with a painting knife. I'm using burnt umber for the base colour and double load the knife with burnt sienna and white for the sunlight on the rocks. And tidy up under the rocks with a little bit of foliage. Add a few twigs here and there and we're ready for our big gum tree. Lock in the gum tree with white. It should lean into the picture and the branch up and over to bring our eye into the picture. To the inside edge of the tree we'll add a warm transparent yellow and to the outside of the tree we'll add raw sienna. A streak of Prussian blue down the middle should contrast with the background blues. Blend them a little and put a layer of white over the top. Then we add warm red to the inside and cool red to the outside of the tree. Then lightly blend the colours together but not completely. Now with your painting knife loaded with your darkest colour, sculpture in the butt of the tree and put a bit of bark in the fork of the tree and a bit here and there to give the tree a bit of character. Then with little bits of all your bright colours loaded on your knife, sculpture in those beautiful colours we see on the gum tree. Then with our little soft hair brush loaded with three or four colours, put it on, turn it and drop it down and that'll give us the bark coming off. A few branches here and there, twiddle your brush around, let the lights and dark come off your brush by loading our round hog bristle brush with dark and light we can dab 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 our foliage on the tree. By cleaning your brush before you pick up paint each time you get nice crispy foliage and make sure you have this umbrella shape that the foliage forms on the gum trees. Well it's time to finish up a little bit of detail on a few branches a little bit of bark hanging off here and there and we take the masking tape off that is over the mountain.